How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and iOS 17 is finally here. After so many months of waiting, we can finally go ahead and update our iPhones to iOS 17. But, and this is so important, you must watch this video before you update your iPhone to iOS 17. Well, let me explain you why. So, regardless of your iPhone model, if it's a newer iPhone or an older one like an iPhone XR, XS or 11, it's necessary, it's mandatory that you back up your iPhone. And I can't stress this enough, you need to back up your iPhone before you update to iOS 17 and you understand this in just a couple minutes. Okay, so you can back up your iPhone any way that you wish. So through an iCloud backup, so straight from your iPhone or using a computer like your computer backup using iTunes or Finder. It's up to you. Please keep in mind that when you back up using iCloud, so straight from your iPhone, you're probably gonna need to upgrade to iCloud Plus and pay a little bit of money, while if you back up through your computer, it's completely free. And if you're not really comfortable with the process of backing up or you don't really understand how it works, don't worry, because I have videos here on the channel teaching you how to back up using iCloud or using your computer, which as I said, is completely free. I'll have cards here and direct links in the description so you can go ahead, check it out, and then come back to this video. Okay, now that you have completed the backup, we can move on and we can go ahead and update to iOS 17. And even though this is a big, major software update, you can update as you're used to. So go ahead, grab your iPhone, open up your settings, general, and then software update, and then you can right there install iOS 17. Keep in mind that this will be a slightly larger software update, so a few gigabytes, so it may take a little bit of time to download and to install as well. If you want to, you can update your iPhone to iOS 17 with a computer, so you can plug it in, open up iTunes or Finder, and then update through there. But honestly, I don't really recommend that you do so because you don't have any extra benefits and you're just adding this extra step. Now, at this point, you may be wondering, okay, but why is it necessary, mandatory, extremely important to back up my iPhone before updating to iOS 17? Because I wanna install it right away. I wanna use it right away. I don't wanna go ahead, back up, it takes some time, and I know it's kind of frustrating to do this, I know it takes a while, but let me explain you why this is mandatory and necessary. The thing is, this is not exclusive to iOS 17. Every time we update our iPhones to a major software update, a annual software update, there are a few risks. Because as I said, this is a huge update, completely new. So you may have some problems with, for example, app compatibility. Maybe some of the apps that you use every single day are not compatible to iOS 17 just yet. Uh, same thing with your battery, for example. So this is the first official version of iOS 17. Even though we've had some betas, this is the first official one, 17.0, meaning that everything is not still 100% optimized. So you will for sure uh, suffer a little bit on battery life when you update to iOS 17. Again, it's the first version of a major software update. You may have some problems as well with performance. So uh, some apps may be a little bit slow, like a little bit sluggish, you may have some bugs here and there. It's common as well because of the exact same reasons I've mentioned. And this is not just for old iPhone models, this is for newer ones as well because it has to do with the operating system and not the iPhone itself. So because of all of this, because of all of those possible problems that you may face when you update to iOS 17.0, it's important to have a backup because if you update and then you don't really like it, if you have problems, compatibility issues, battery issues, or anything like that, you can easily go ahead and come back to iOS 16. You can downgrade to iOS 16. And since you have backed up before, you have backed up while still in iOS 16, you will have a compatible backup. So it will be extremely easy for you to come back to iOS 16 if you need to, if you wish to do so, and then you're gonna have all your data. You're not gonna lose anything, all your data will be there, and then you won't have any problems whatsoever. So that's why, that's the only reason why. If you update to iOS 17 and you regret it, you can come back to iOS 16, no problem, 
no data loss. Please keep in mind that you won't be able to come back to iOS 16 forever. Okay, Apple after some weeks will not sign iOS 16 anymore and you won't be able to come back. So that's why it's super important that you go ahead, back up, update to iOS 17 right now, test it out, see if it's good for you. If it is, great. You don't need to do anything else. If you regret it, if you have problems, you can come back straight away, hurry up and come back and then you'll be able to stick to iOS 16 for a few more weeks, maybe even a few more months until iOS 17 is polished, it's perfect and great, and then you can finally upgrade, finally, once and for all, to iOS 17, let's say iOS 17.1 or 17.1.1 or 17.2, so to a stable, good version that you are comfortable with, all right? Oh, and please keep in mind that I do have a video here on the channel where I teach you exactly this, how to come back, how to downgrade from iOS 17 to iOS 16. So card right here, direct link in the description as well. So that's it. That's the whole reason why I recorded this video to make sure you don't have problems on your iPhone, right? So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.